everyone, it's Vicky here and in this very quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply hair and hair dynamics to already animated characters. So let's get started. The first thing I would like you to do is change the workspace type to grooming because it's going to give us the tools that we need. And then let's drop down a geometry node. Okay, dive inside, and in here I want to create a test geometry, so I will use this one called Crack, I will show you why in a second. So let's create that geometry. Alright, so here is our character, and now when I play the timeline you can see that it's already animated, so it's a nice uh, three character that we can use for the test. Uh, I will also click on Include Hammer, I do not want that hammer in the scene, so just click on Include Hammer to disable it. And let's go back to the object level and have a look at the tools that we have. So I will click here on the gray background because I want to deselect the nodes. And now let's click on Add Fur and see what it asks us to do. So uh, we can see the tip at the bottom of the screen saying select a static geometry to add fur to. Um, we don't have any static geometry yet because this one is animated, so we need to create one. So let's press escape to cancel that, okay? And I'll rename this geometry to skin animated. And then holding down alt, I will drag this sub network to the right, okay? And this duplicated my network. And now I will rename the second one to skin static. So one will be animated and one will be static. For now, these two are exactly the same, okay? So let's dive inside the second geometry node, so skin static. Go back to the very first frame, and what I want to do is export the first frame, so this state of my geometry. So let's right-click on the node, go to Save Geometry, and now you can choose where you want to save this file by clicking on this icon. You can also choose the extension. I will choose BGO, okay? And then just click Accept. Brilliant. So now I want to get rid of this 3D model and drop down the file node so that I can import the geometry I just exported, okay? So in the file node, go to, um, next to the file, you can navigate to wherever we saved our file. I should have set the project first, it would be much easier then to find it. Okay, that's the one. Brilliant, so now I can go back to the object level and now you can see I have two geometries. So one is the animated geometry and one is the static geometry, okay? So I have these two, brilliant. So let me go back to the very first frame again and deselect everything. So click on the gray background, click on add fur again. So it asks us to select a static geometry to add fur to. So this is our skin static. I select it in my network, then hover over the viewport, press enter. Then it ask, uh, asks us to select an animated skin geometry. So this is our skin animated. I select it again, hover over the viewport, press enter. Okay, here it is. So let me just expand that. So now I have several new nodes here. So I have my skin static. So this is my uh, initial static geometry, the first frame. I also have the animated uh, character. Then after skin static, I have skin static groom. So this is the node with the guide. So if you want to adjust how the hair or the fur looks, you can do it here. So manipulate the guides. Okay. And then we have this node called guide the form. This is the node that takes information from our skin static, uh, the information about the position of each guide, and then applies it to our animated geometry. So the calculations take place here. And then we have our hair generate, which just generates hair based on the guide. So if I zoom in, you can see that if I switch this off, uh, we only see the guides. If I switch this on, we'll have hair as well. So let me just disable that. I want to see the animation and it will take too much time. So let's play. Okay, brilliant. So now I have my animated object. I have the static object in the background. I can just hide it. Okay. Um, and it's moving and the hair is moving as well, but the hair is not affected by gravity. We do not have that in our scene. It's not dynamic yet. All right, so let's add some dynamics to it. So again, I will click on the gray background to deselect everything and then go to the hair tools and let's see what we have here. So we have simulate guides. When we hover over, it says that it adds physics uh, simulation to a set of guides. Okay, so let's click on that. 
And now it asks us to select the guide deform object. So we have that. Okay, guide deform. So we select it, then hover over the viewport, press enter. And after a while, you will see another note, an error. <laughs> okay, another uh, note called guide simulate. And now when I play timeline, you will notice that the guides drop after a few frames. So now we have gravity in the scene. It's much slower now, and the timeline also changes color to blue, which means that we have a simulation in the scene. Let me zoom in. Okay. So now we can see that the guides are affected by the gravity at the moment. So you can also adjust the dynamic settings in your guide simulate node. Okay, that's it. Stay tuned for more tutorials, and I hope you enjoyed it.